Hey everybody, Miranda Ferreira with Century 21 Miller Elite bringing you the November market update. So remember, we always get the stats a month after. So even though we're saying Happy New Year, these are for November. So a couple of interesting things, and remember you can always find this on uh, all my social media and my website. So um, a bunch of different notes, and so I, I made several. And so what I wanted to talk about is what went down first. Um, closed sales were down both month over month and year over year. This is a trend that's been kind of continuing since August, and we saw pretty much a 20% drop in closed sales from this point last year. But remember, when you look at the normal cycles going back five years all the way to 2017, uh, you see that November is one of the bigger dips and drops in closed sales. So that's, that's kind of a normal thing in, in a way. Um, new listings were down both month, month over month and year over year, and a minimal increase year over year, like about 3%. So um, this has been, again, new listings have been going down since June, July. No surprise, we haven't had as much buyer demand up until recently. The number of actives, have also been going down, which is kind of gonna play into what I'm gonna tell you in just a minute. We had both a month over month and year over year drop, and we are back to about our spring numbers in terms of number of active listings. But we're getting close and around that 600 number. You have to go back to January of 2021 to see actives below 600. So up until now, we've been functioning pretty well. And so that goes into the month supply, which we saw ever so slightly decrease month over month, but we are about where we were at this time last year. So we are pretty much flat in terms of getting new inventory. And remember, this has been a recurring theme here for quite a while. So what went up? Pendings shot through the roof we got 90 extra listings under contract compared to October. Yeah. Um, and But we are only half of the number of what we were this time last year. So to kind of put it in perspective of how slow we had gotten, um, the median sale price, though, interestingly enough, was up this month by about 60k and this is kind of relative depending on where everything is selling so you know obviously our higher price items if there were more going under contract and sold you're going to get a little bit of a skew of that number but this is an interesting trend when you look at the median sale price this year versus last year there was only one other time in 2023 where the median for 23 was higher than in 22. So that is worth watching because are we now truly beginning to see kind of the market kind of catch back up with itself? I don't know, this is only the first month where we're seeing it, but it's gonna take a while. So when again, kind of looking at those trends, like I said, November is typically a down month comparatively um, and then you see a little bit of a shoot up in December, and then you'll see a drop again. Like I said, looking back to 2017, you see that. You see the dip in pendings, and then you'll are closed, and then you'll go up in January, or up in December, down a little bit in January, and then February, March, we see that upward swing as we get into the buyer season. So that is gonna be pretty much normal. What is worth watching is what happens with mortgage rates. We have seen significant drops, just like we saw this time last year and earlier this year where we had that drastic upswing. We are now starting to see a fairly significant drop in rates. Um, so with that, we have seen a little bit more buyers coming to the market, a little bit more showing requests increasing, and so that is going to be bear, to be worth watching because we don't have this, remember that active listings I was telling you about, we did not really make any gains in listing supply. 
So we're still, once buyers get into a range where they're comfortable and we, they have more buying power, but we still don't have the listings to suffice, we may see more competition again. A lot of folks are forecasting that. Again, we don't know, we don't have crystal balls, it's just one thought. But couple this with the expectation of Fed, of inflation improving, continuing to improve, and potential federal rate cuts possibly at the end or uh, beginning, or I'm sorry, mid to end of 24, we have the workings here of a lot of forecasters saying that we're gonna get an extremely busy market mid, especially mid to end of 24 and into 25. A lot of home buyers coming in into that first home buying age are also getting to that point. So we're seeing a, a flux of new buyers and buyers returning because of the improved buying power. We'll see what happens. But thank you so much. Miranda Ferreira, Century 21 Miller Elite. I tried to keep it short, but it was a lot to say today. Check it out. And I appreciate it. Everybody have a wonderful day.